Morning, 93 people are dead and dozens more are hurt in what is now being called the deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history. The damage, like you see here, stretches for miles across neighborhoods and in many cases, entire towns. More than 2,000 buildings, including homes and businesses, are now rubble and ash. And areas formerly filled with tourists are replaced by first responders, recovery teams, and cadaver dogs. Officials say the fire melted through metal and they're having to do rapid DNA to identify the dead. Our cars are burned up, their friends are dead, the dogs and animals are dead. Everybody's dead. There's dead people in the water. We need medicine. We need pillows, blankets, food. I haven't gotten a break and I've just been like, I have to help. Like, I have no other option. Oh, so hard to watch. There's a lot of concern about long term housing for so many families who've lost everything. And this morning, there's growing questions over the island's emergency response since they weren't activated to alert residents of the fire. And now the main electric provider in Hawaii is facing a lawsuit in connection to the fires. It claims Hawaiian Electric Industries and three subsidiaries failed to shut down power lines during Hurricane Dora and that it was those lines that caused the fire. Now let's get to Eva Anderson, who's in the newsroom with a look at local relief efforts for those in Maui. Hey, Eva. Hi, Alicia. The Red Cross has hundreds of volunteers on the ground in Maui, among them at least 11 Minnesotans. Along with sending supplies, they're of course connecting Maui residents who have lost everything with mental health services. Local businesses are getting involved as well. Ono Hawaiian Plates in the North Loop, Minneapolis, is holding a benefit and food drive on August 21st to help support efforts in Maui. Brian Ingram, who also owns several restaurants, including Hope Breakfast Bar, says his nonprofit, Give Hope Minnesota, will also be collecting supplies to take to the island. And if you want to help with a national effort in Maui, you can text Red Cross to 90999 to make a $10 donation. You can also donate to other local organizations to help, like the Maui Strong Fund, the Maui Food Bank, or the Maui Humane Society. The Red Cross has made it clear this isn't going to be a two-week operation. They'll have people on the ground for months to come. Guys, back to you. Yeah, the folks out there in Maui need all the help that they can get this morning. All right.